word work was never uh, an issue for me. You know, a lot of people hear the word work and they kind of run away from it. That kind of, you know, uh, you know, I fed off of that. So I was like, oh, this is all I have to do. Just that passion kicked in, man. Just, I just love the game and I wanted to go somewhere with it. You know, I had goals and I, I knew the only way I was going to be able to get there is by putting in that hard work. Um, I had a work ethic that I think was, you know, un, unmatched. You know, I would, uh, I'd be out, you know, all night, you know, till two, three in the morning, man, working out. I used to have to put a carpet on the floor so when the basketball would hit, you know, my mom or nobody, the neighbors, nobody would hear, you know. I was lifting weights. I had friends coming over midnight, jumping the fences, you know, workout sessions, and uh, just wanted to be the best. Push yourself, Research and just years of you know, working with the kids and trying to come up with a concept that was something different than your average basketball program that you see. There's various programs all over and I wanted to add a different element to it. Everybody focuses on the physical aspect of the basketball training, you know, jump, shoot, you know, run, dribble, you know, all those various things, but nobody's actually breaking down the player inside. What is it? Where you're low, sitting down, prepared to guard the offensive player. All right. Whether if you're in a defensive stance, please pay attention because you're guarding your man. No matter what's going on when you're on defense, you have a certain stance that you need to be. So right now we're just going to get in your basic defensive stance. Our feet shoulder width apart, butt down, back straight, both hands up. Just sitting down. Well, plyometrics is something that's really uh, big in our program, which is the science and speed of quickness, strength, uh, endurance. So that, you know, that um, seriousness of training added on with the advanced drills that, you know, I had at the college level. Yeah, like I said, the girls are some of our better, you know, players, and they're a little more serious than some of my, um, you know, my male players, so it's pretty interesting. But the main concept of the basketball dojo is to have it really advanced, and one thing that separates us, we have a, a grade point uh, system to where you have to have a 3.0, so we have a, you know, academic program also. If you don't have a 3.0 and you come to our program, we still will allow you to participate, but we have you go through our tutoring program where we have tutors come in and work with the kids individually. We have them monthly bringing their progress reports, you know, keeping us informed of how they're doing academically. Because if they're not taking care of business in the classroom, you know, I really try to preach. There's no way they're going to be able to go and play at that next level. I don't care how skilled and talented they are, it's just not going to happen. Are you ready to get a stance? 